so we have learned about the general mathematical formulation of a transportation problem let us consider an example where there are m number of sources n number of destinations let the supply available at the m sources that is the maximum supply that is available at the m sources be represented by ai let the number of demand here it is the minimum demand that is required at the destination be represented by pj let also cij represent the unit cost of transportation from the ith source to the jth destination and let xij be the amount of units that is to be transported from the ith source to the jth destination so the general mathematical formulation may be represented as a minimization problem so in this case we have to minimize the cost of transportation so total cost of transportation is given by the product of the unit cost of transportation and the units that is transported so here we use double summation because we have two suffix i and j and this will be subject to two constraints the first constraint will be of the supply side that is if you recall ai was the maximum supply that is available at the sources so the first constraint may be written as summation xij must be less than equal to ai which means that the total supply that is to be transported to the destinations must be less than the uh maximum supply that is available and the second constraint will be of the demand side so the minimum demand was represented by bj and the total demand that is summation xij must be at least equal to bj or it can be greater than bj and finally we have the non negativity constraint that is given as xij must be greater than equal to 0 now the system will be in balance if the supply is equal to the demand so total supply can be represented as summation ai and the total demand can be represented as summation bj uh, this supply is not equal to the demand that is summation ai is not equal to summation bj then the system will be unbalanced now we generally have techniques to solve transportation problem that is balanced so if we come across any problem where we have unbalanced system we will have to convert the unbalanced system to a balanced system and for this we use dummy sources and dummy destinations so we will learn this in the next class therefore we see that uh, the necessary and sufficient condition that is required for a transportation problem to have a feasible solution is the equation that uh, equates the supply and the demand so that is a balanced system so if this uh, is met so we can have a feasible solution for the transportation problem